the young people have risen up and said, you know what, enough is enough. We cannot just keep hearing talk, 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 and not much gets to happen. And so they are rising up peacefully. It is their right. In fact, for us at Parliament, we are waiting for them. Because, you see, the other day, there are some protesters that came apparently to protest against Honorable Sechukubu, and they were welcomed and ushered in, which is okay. They had their placards and so on. So even we here, we have been saying, let those young people come and raise their concerns here peacefully. I give it all to our leadership, party leadership of National Unity Platform that uh, actually commenced, or rather, I should say they were the pioneers in this fight against corruption when they fired one of our own on the allegation of corruption. So if you are talking about parliament, don't lump us together. I'm hoping they will be ushered in properly. We have been seeing, of course, some have been clobbered downtown and so on. These are peaceful young people who are saying they're raising their voices peacefully. That should be allowable. And, and of course, uh, in their rhetoric, of course, I had something like peaceful demonstrations. They call for the installation of that uh, scaring uh, security uh, 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 apparatuses, because I've seen a lot of vehicles, armored ones, and uh, those uh, uniform security personnel. I think it is just a matter of we answering to their calls. If you don't want to listen to them peacefully, you, you don't want to press young people against the wall so much and then discover when it's too late. In Kenya, William Ruto woke up when it was too late, when they were already angry and agitated and so on. You don't have to wait for that. Listen to them. They're not coming to fight. They're coming to share their grievances, which is a welcome thing. It may say that in as long as they have stolen and uh, um, uh, invested in Uganda, those are good thieves and don't touch them. Now, would this be a fight against corruption or rather is someone being preached to drink water, but uh, the man is drinking wine. Actually, Waraji. <laughs> what is happening around town, it is a constitutional right for, pap, for people, for any person to demonstrate. As long as you don't injure somebody else's rights, you express your rights, their right, as long as you don't injure anybody else's right. And this is why I'm saying it is a loose which must stop. We are ready to welcome them today. But uh, the police, like uh, in former regimes, uh, they have decided to keep uh, parliament into siege. Uh, it is very wrong. Parliament is supposed to be accessible. Parliament is for the people. And the people should feel free to come peacefully and protest. So the police is doing this illegally and uh, it is wrong. We, we are going to condemn it and we want to encourage young people to keep firm and always stand firm to make sure that uh, they exercise their duties.